Hi, my name is Dominique, and today we are going to make the review of a New Zealand wine. Uh, Le Fan Rouge is the name, and the winery is Elephant Hill. Uh, the land where Elephant Hill has been set up in 2003 was previously an abandoned deer farm. The German couple that 20 years ago um, built the winery accomplished their dream of creating their own first class winery with a luxury lunch and a restaurant also. Everything has an exquisite taste, the architecture, the interior design, the art pieces that are exposed, all surrounded by the natural beauty of New Zealand. They wanted to create premium quality wines, handcrafted with limited intervention, respecting the principles of excellence, following up traditions, but also incorporating some innovations and technology. We will analyze the labels. The front label has uh, the name of the producer, the year of the, of the harvest, the name of the wine, the varieties, producer location, and a nice textured design of the elephant skin with some great reviews of recognized wine critics. Uh, the back label have a brief description of the wine, the profile of the winery, and the timing consumption suggestion. Uh, the website, the QR code, the address of the producer and the indication of origin and the stamp of uh, New Zealand Sustainable Wine Growing, which is an organization that controls the wineries, practices on the vineyards, facilities and production techniques to make sure they meet the requirements for an environmental conscious practice. Uh, the bottle capacity, the alcohol content also, which is 13.5 degrees, the barcode, uh, while well, the price in the market of this wine is 22 to 26 New Zealand dollars, um, the indication about the use of sulfites uh, in the winemaking process also is uh, in the back label. Technology and grapes protection is very important because uh, New Zealand has these uh, lovely birds called pukekos and a lot of other uh, species that, that are smaller but they can fish the grapes uh, so they put net over the vineyards. Um, about the technology they have uh, weather stations to control milliliters of rains and exposure and heat. They analyze carefully the soil and some years they can add some nutrients to fertilize. Some years they can have botrytis and they uh, use this opportunity to make some beautiful sweet wines that you can also try in the winery. They will analyze the ripeness and sugar content of the pulp in their own laboratory and also they tra their, their trust in their own uh, um, berry tastings to analyze the polyphenolic maturity um, given by the tannin uh, ripeness, the aromas and the flavors that are present in the skins. Um, they transport the grapes, uh, the branches uh, through little trucks in bins of 400 to 300 uh, kilograms. They put them in a receiving hooper and then goes everything to the destimer to put away the stems um, in the machine. Um, also, uh, after that, the berries are conducted into a vibrating table where they will discard manually the green berries or the damaged berries to ensure the quality of the selection. Um, they put them through a lift conveyor to go to a stainless steel tank um, that is open uh, in the upper part, they add at this stage um, sulfur anhydride uh, to prevent premature oxidation um, and they proceed to the alcoholic fermentation. To provoke uh, the alcoholic fermentation, depending on the batch, sometimes they use native yeasts uh, that are present naturally in the skins of the grapes or they can use also cultured yeasts. Uh, that they mix with uh, the mass to make the starter culture. And um, they make usually the fermentations from 28 to 32 degrees for 14 days uh, to promote a better extraction. Uh, each variety is fermented separately uh, in separate batches to develop their own expression and then can combine and then they can combine them to, to make the blends. 
Uh, they also uh, add some yeast nutrients once the fermentation has started. Um, to about the cap management, they perform hand plunging and rack and return. Uh, they make also an extended maceration according to the tanning quality. They make um, they make it for a few days up to two weeks. Uh, then they make the drawing off of the tank and the malolactic fermentation uh, for. A drawing of the tank, they use pneumatic, a pneumatic press. Um, according to the quality of the grapes uh, of this specific, uh, each specific harvest, they mix the free run wine with the pressed wine. Or if the tar, if the tannins, tannins are too harsh, they don't. Um, following the principles of minimal minimal intervention, they do the malolactic fermentation at a, na at a natural temperature unless it's really cold and they need to increase the tank degrees to 18. Uh, then they proceed to the oak aging. Once the MLF is finished, they rack the wines into, a, into oak barrels for aging process. Le Fan Rouge uh, has a late oak elevage for 12 months to preserve its varietal aromas and terroir identity. The level of toast is medium, which will be sub give subtle aromas to the wine. Um, they rack it normally once during the lifetime, although sometimes they don't rack the wine at all. Um, this time in barrels helps to clarify the wine, soften tannin, stabilize and fix the color the tannins and the aromas of the wine. The type of oak they use is French oak, which a medium toast uh, uh, of two to five liters of capacity. Uh, we need to mention that they apply several procedures to the barrels because of the bretanomyces risk. Uh, they wash them with high pressure uh, and then expose them to prevention procedures to kill every possible bacteria. They, after the oak aging, they make the blend. The blend is different every year, depending on the performance of each variety. Always the Merlot is the main variety with the balance of Malbec, Syrah, Cabernet Franc, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, the final result would come after the assessment of the resulting wines in different percentages. Um, finally, the filtration, clarification, stabilization, and bottling. Uh, the process is made to obtain um, a clear limpid wine uh, with um, with egg whites uh, that they will put one per barrel as minimum as possible as always. The physical stabilization occurs naturally in the aging process. Um, and Hugh, the winemaker, explained to us that um, th they try to keep the lease uh, to because they provide a nice complexity. Um, and a, a good aromatic character to the wines. So they try to not over clarify their wines. Uh, the bottling part and labeling, everything is uh, made by a technical machine. Um, and we're, our wine is ready to go to the market and be enjoyed around the world. About the classification of the wine, uh, according to the winemaking process, it's a red according to its composition is a blend, according to the carbon dioxide is a still wine, according to the residual sugar it's a dry one, um, according to the style it's a medium complexity red with a short aging, and uh, we will define the type of closure it's, um, it's screw cup uh, as every New Zealand uh, wine, almost every New Zealand wine, um, as New Zealand is the first uh, uh, creator of the screw cup and here they don't have the the presumption of the all the association of the screw cup with cheap wines um, which occurs in other countries and in fact elephant hill make this same wine with cork to export to europe and china let's go to the best part the tasting we are facing a medium red, deep red wine, healthy, clear, and bright. We don't observe residual carbon dioxide or sediments. It is a rich, nice red uh, as its tears roll down slowly. It presents a deep red color with ruby hues. 
The wine exhibits a very intense aromatic expression. It's a very fragrant. It's very fragrant with wild fruits aromas such as blackberries, blueberries, and also stone fruits like cherries and ripe plum, ripe plums. You can also find scents of fresh, fresh cut uh, grass, toasted almonds, and leather. I'm hurrying up because I have only ten minutes. About the spiciness, the fine displays notes of pepper, clove, and nutmeg. Um, the spectacular, this spectacular blend has a beautiful first impression in your mouth. You can distinguish the fruitness, the herbaceous scents, and the spices also. The wine has very nice structure and it is moderately tannic. Le Fond Rouge is a medium bodied wine with velvet ripe tannins. It has a refreshing acidity balanced with the right level of alcohol. It's uh, the wine is dry. It doesn't have much residual sugar, and we can say it's honest because because uh, you find the same aromas that you first smell. The persistency is medium high with a cherry and black currant end. Uh, about the conclusion, I was suggest to drink this wine at 15 to 17 degrees, so it can express all its fragrance and complexity. And as a red, tannins have per are perceived softer when the wine is not too cold. Uh, the winemakers uh, really have made a good alchemy in this mixture uh, for of the different varieties. It is a very versatile, approachable red, easy to drink. We can say these three French varieties find their own expression in this amazing land of New Zealand. I have chosen this wine because it has all the flavor profiles together. Um, it has fruitiness, herbaceous scents, and spiciness with the complexity of a short aging. So if you like to have it all as I do, this is your wine. Because of its acidity, tannins, and alcohol level, you can enjoy it right now or keep it in your cellar door for a few years. Uh, about the pairing suggestion uh, for this beautiful red, I will suggest a gourmet dish with some regional ingredients. Blue roast venison with fresh greens, taro milfoy, mushroom sauce, and caramelized almonds. In New Zealand, you can find several deer farms. Um, deer are raised in organic fields. In fact, the terroir where Elephant Hill was constructed was a previous deer farm. Uh, so uh, this dish will be conceived in honor to the history of the land. Um, taro um, is an underground tuber similar to the sweet potato, very consumed in Polynesia Islands and New Zealand. Uh, deer meat uh, is tender, low fat, and have a special flavor. It's quality meat. Then it's ideal uh, the cookie point. Uh, the cooking ideal point for for its meat is blue because um, and it will match perfectly with this Merlot Malbec Syrah blend. The butter of the mushroom sauce, the cream, and the cheese of the taro milfoy. Uh, and the little percentage of fat that the venison have will soften the tannins, uh, the medium weight and the complexity of the wine uh, and the dish are equivalent, enhancing with harmony the culinary and wine experience. The mushroom sauce and the game meat will highlight the earthiness of the Merlot and the Syrah varieties present in the blend. Um, I will use black and cayenne pepper as condiments for the venison that mirrors the spiciness of the Malbec and the Merlot also. To make a little contrast to the dryness of the wine and include another texture in the experience, uh, it will be a great idea to, to add over the dish some caramelized sliced almonds. Uh, well, we will end this presentation with the uh, um, with some beautiful pictures of the lodge. If you want to have a luxurious experience and stay in Elephant Hill Lodge while you taste those exquisite wines, you will enjoy breathtaking views over the vines and your, you have your own cellar wine fridge inside the room. This is a dream of the sommeliers. Uh, if you are far and you can't travel right now, you can still travel through your senses. Uh, tasting the alchemy of this wonderful wine. I highly recommend it to you uh, and cheers.